Hi everyone, this is Rob De Winter for Creative Pro and this is a sneak peek of one of the many things I'm going to show you in my session at Creative Pro Week happening in Phoenix and online on June 2 to 6. In this short sneak peek I'm going to show you how to create vector images and guides for an image using the brand new Adobe project Neo Beta. We'll create this 3D ramen ball, generate a photo based on it and export everything as a clean vector image to Adobe Illustrator. Let's first start on the Project Neo website, projectneo.adobe.com, and click Create to begin a new project. First, let's remove this cube and change the environment color. You can do this in the Properties panel. I also want to make a wooden table, so I'll select the plain area and change its color to brown. Now click the cylinder button in the toolbar and click where you want to place the cylinder. Uh, this is going to be our ramen ball. I think it's a bit small, so I'll grab the select tool in the toolbar and use the handles, it's called a 3D gizmo, to scale and reposition the cylinder. Next, let's duplicate this object. Click the duplicate object button in the contextual taskbar or press Ctrl or Command D. This duplicate will carve out the inside of the ramen ball. So to do this, scale it down using the 3D gizmo and then go to the Combine section in the Properties panel and click Carve. I think that's really cool because it already looks like a ball. Let's add some color. Um, select the outer cylinder and give it a brown shade and then select the inner section and give it a lighter brown color. By the way, I'm rotating the view now by clicking and dragging with my right mouse button. Now select the carved out inner cylinder to make the ramen. Duplicate it, set Combine to Add and move it downwards. And then change the color to yellow. Time to make some chopsticks. I'll first add a hollow cone and start reshaping it with the Edit Shape tool. This is a tool similar to the Direct Selection tool in Illustrator, giving you extra shape editing options. I'll keep scaling and tweaking the shape by switching between the Select tool and the Edit Shape tool. And once it is shaped like a chopstick, I'll change its color to brown, duplicate it and reposition the duplicate with the Select tool and the handles. So yeah, I think we're almost finished, so let's generate an image based on the shapes we've created. Head over to the Adobe Firefly section by clicking the Create Image from Scene button. And then enter the prompt, wooden ramen bowl with chopsticks served on a table in a cozy restaurant, and click Generate. This creates an image based on the depth and outlines of our shapes. Now four variations will appear and you can choose the one you like most, but you can also adjust your view in the left window with your mouse and generate a new image. By the way, I just noticed that the chopsticks are slightly intertwined. That's because I should have positioned the top uh, stick a little bit higher. Hover over the generate image and click download to save it. Now close the Adobe Firefly section. You can also send this image directly to Adobe Illustrator and edit it as a clean vector file. To do this, set styles to vector art because otherwise it won't work. And I'm not a big fan of the black outlines, so I'll set the stroke width to zero. You can also adjust the lighting by clicking environment and then tweaking the settings. When everything is ready, click share and then send to Illustrator as vectors. A new window pops up where you can click Open Creative Cloud Desktop App. This opens your vector image directly in Illustrator. The result is an incredibly clean vector image with very few vector points and I think it's an amazing way to create and edit 3D inspired vector files. And there's so much more you can do. If you like this video and want to see more tips and tricks like this, be sure to join my sessions at Creative Pro Week on June 2 to 6. I hope to see you there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.